Well, what's in the box? What's in the box? What's in the box? Oh, what is in the box? Well, who knows? We'll find out pretty soon. I actually do know. Unless it's a surprise Kickstarter, which I highly doubt. I know exactly what this is. Now, I want to apologize a bit for my Call of Cthulhu video. Man, I mean, I don't know why. I'm making another version of it now. But I've just been having this really weird problem with, like, the, uh like the audio like from right at the end of the thing somehow ends up in the in the middle it's really bizarre it's like somehow the beginning audio just appears in the center of the video it's happened twice on two different uploads so i'm making another version and we'll see how it goes okay firstly we have doom town reloaded this is the second saddlebag double dealing now i actually don't have the first saddlebag because i was supposed to get it for christmas Prom guy promised to get it for Christmas and he got it, but I just haven't got around to seeing him, so... Awesome. This is like one of the best card games ever. Booyah! More Netrunner. Chaos and Order with my favourite faction, Anarchs. Go Anarchs. And, uh... I think it's Wayland. Yeah? Is it? Yeah, Wayland is the other one. Awesome. Double Booyah, the new Conquest. And look, this is the new type of packs for cards coming out of the new printer system that they've got. Real shame, but still, doesn't matter. Conquest! That's the second Conquest. Yeah, boy! Deus, Deus, baby. I'll get to that in a sec. Slabam! More Conquest! <laughs> yeah, boom! More Conquest! And that should be it, except like a big thank you note. Yeah. Cool. Open for inspection by the custom office. There you go. Bam! Oh well. I get it. I get some info. I get some notice by the custom office because I get so many packages. Sometimes they think I'm running a store, but no, I'm not running a store. I'm just trying to see how far I can push my wife before she divorces me. Right, now, Deus. This is an awesome game. Now, it is true, some people have noticed that my game tastes are starting to change a little. I'm playing, I basically, since I came to Sydney, and since my channel gotten big, I've really stopped playing a lot of the deep war games. Not because I don't like them. I do. I love them. I just got no one to play them with. So I've been getting more and more into these more casual, fun games. And this is one of those types of games. Look at this. Wow. Beautiful. Now... This is kind of, a, sort of like a civilization builder, has these really unique game tiles, sort of weird round shapes. Obviously you've got water, lava, you know, I guess what's wheat or something. I haven't actually read the rules from this for quite a while. Uh, I played this at a demo ages ago, ages ago, like maybe two years ago or a year ago. And it was freaking awesome. Basically, you have these little uh, sort of private areas here. That, that's like a player board in front of you. And as you collect cards, they go into each of these slots. And they all do different things. Perhaps if I hold it the right way up. They all do different things. It's very cool. There's a number of reviews out with the rules overview. But this is a really fun game. It's got all those beautiful wooden pieces I love. And it's got all these fancy cards. Have a quick look at the cards. Come on, cards. Give me a quick look at you. Open! Open, damn you! Okay. So you collect these cards, you spend them, you add them to your slot, and it's basically, the way I look at it is that you're building a little civilization. But I wouldn't really call this a civilization builder. It's all about icon collecting. It's basically a set collector, I guess you'd call it at its heart. But there's all special abilities and stuff like that. Very, very fun game. It's got like a slight, it's got like a slight area control system going on. 
like if somewhere you, like, you get all these little buildings and stuff here and as you play cards you place them in these locations and it's all about hand management I guess is the the basic thing you've got to discard cards for things you've got to draw cards for things and you're trying to build a civilization based on points it's a point race but extremely good and light one this is a light game not a complicated one but one that has I feel a kind of hidden complexity to it this is the kind of game that you know you can pull out with quite seasoned gamers and they're not going to just go oh what is this you know they're, it's light enough that you can attract a different kind of crowd but it's still complicated enough as in there's enough going on like decision points mm. and fun things that it hits a nice middle road Deus absolutely excellent game I'll do a video on that soon Doomtown oh yeah can't this is too exciting for words Netrunner I love this game it's probably the best card game in print uh, Doomtown close second. Cthulhu is one of my favorites, but unfortunately I just don't get to play it much. And the new one on the block, Conquest, is just out. So BAM! Now, I know I say this like every time, but this is probably going to be my last order. This is actually my last, the last order I've got coming. So if any other box openings happen, it's going to be because I've ordered after this one. Uh, now, oh, actually, there's one more coming with uh, the new Elder sign, isn't there? Okay, so there's, there's one more after this. <laughs> but the thing is, the Australian dollar has tanked. I mean tanked. It's like 70 cents or 75 cents US or something. So it's like basically a 30% surcharge on top of shipping and everything to get stuff from the States. So I just will not be able to buy, like, Deus probably won't come out in Australia for like a year. So that's why I usually order from the States, you know, big things like this. And when I ordered this, I said, oh, well, I'll get a bunch of other stuff to sh cut up shipping costs, blah, blah, blah. It doesn't work anymore. Now that the dollar's dropped, it, I'm screwed. I'm screwed. And rejoicing, says the rest of the family. But the point is, sorry, guys, not going to be a lot more pack openings. But because of that, what I'm going to do, I'm going to figure out what the hell's wrong with the Fulu video and find out whether the audio is getting all screwed up. But I will be doing, I'm going to start doing, obviously I'll keep doing the playthroughs. I'm about to restart Android. I've almost got it fixed, like ready to go. You know, like I've set up the board the way it used to be. And I've got, uh, I'm going to start doing some reviews and little overviews of games and stuff. Uh, I'm going to do Doomtown, Conquest, Deus, and uh, so forth and so forth. The next one on my list is actually Five Tribes, which I absolutely love this game. This is one of the best games I've played recently. And this game, five feet fun. Oh, gee. Sorry, I <laughs> shouldn't have drank that coffee before. Five Tribes, right, is basically the same zone as Deus for... It's got a lot of stuff going in it, but it's, it's light and fast. Anyway, I will see you guys next time. And hopefully the Cthulhu video is going to be fixed soon. It's going to be the third time I've uploaded it. So, yeah, I'm totally embarrassed about that. I really don't know what the problem is. So, hopefully, it'll be fixed. I'll see you guys next time.